Hey, that thing's got a park on it, man. Come on. No, I don't. All right, we're about to light her up here, and we'll start down there, and I'm gonna walk this whole side. I gotta ask about fire lanes. Well, we've got raids everywhere, and this is a county raid right here, so you can get the idea. But we got raids that intertwine this entire place, so let's get after it. You can see that line I just made. I got to go all the way up there. It's burning into the wind. Wind's out of the south right now. Lighting on the north side. South by seven miles an hour, which is good. That's this is going into the wind right there. Well, the wind's blowing this way, and this fire is trying to go that way. Got a good strip burnt. I started over here in the corner, gonna let it come across, and uh, we'll let her go from there. The humidity is about 24% right now when I checked it a while ago. So the air is good and dry. So when I go down this road, this is the east line that runs north and south. When I go on down this road right here, and that wind catches it, it'll really, really uh, go. I'll probably take my blower and blow some of this back right here. We're looking good. Here's the next game plan. We're going to take a torch and we're going all the way down to the end of the road down there as far as you can see. And we're going to start a line and we're going to come all the way up to here. And that wind's fixing to get in it and it will blister it going across this uh, these pines because the wind, the wind is blowing that away. So it's going to hit it just right and it'll carry it across it pretty dang quick. I want to show this. See, there's a road here. There's a road here. There's two roads over there. This entire thing is surrounded by roads. And of course, you got this road right here. I'm going to take the drip torch and I'm fixing to take off and just let her eat going down through here. Boys, we got us a control burn going. Look at her. Heck yeah. I got this whole road done. I just want to come back up here and check one more time. I'll ride down this road and show y'all what it looks like. That wind is going to carry this across quick, fast, and in a hurry. So this road here is pretty long too. Look at it getting that, getting them saplings, boy, burn them, get them up. You 
just a little bit once this burns then i'll i'll set this with the wind completely once it burns off this road a little ways i'll get on the south side look at it burning that pine sap out of those trees where those cat bases are i'll set it on the south side with the wind and just let her eat This is where I lit it from, right here. Oh yeah. All right. There's not been a bunch of people ride by to see all the smoke. You need to make sure that if you're gonna do this, once you get your permits, you need to call, uh, let kind of everybody as many as you can you know like the county or whatever around you make sure that they know that you're what you're fixing to do because if you don't they'll get 10,000 calls hey there's a fire there's a fire there's a fire and then when they get a call they say nice nah, it's, it's all cool it's a control burn there listen at it Just burning them cedars up out there. A lot of folks are scared of fire, but if you uh, if you do it right, right conditions, it'll really pay off. Look at the turbulence up there in the trees that's causing with the wind. And now I'm coming around on the, which will be the west side of it, and I'm gonna light it over here on the west side for a back burn to burn back into what I've got started coming this way. We're gonna start right here and I'm gonna start dripping right here and uh, go all the way around it. All right, what I did, I, come, I went on ahead and come on over here. I'm gonna start it right here. The fire's rolling at me real quick, so let me get this going. So dad's gonna drip this one right here for me and I've got the blower because we got some straw we're gonna have to deal with down here in a little bit. And I'm gonna kind of tend to that. Oh, this here is gonna be good. I ain't deer tracks everywhere. Look at all them deer tracks. My sister's back here behind me on her ranger. See, we're fixing to burn this into what we what I've already burned over there. Winds done basically lay down on this too. That's the way it does in the evenings here. A lot of times it'll kind of lay, so we won't have the wind pushing it as hard as we did a while ago. I'm gonna get my blower and I'm gonna start right here.
All right, so today we burnt that 36 already. And then about another 10 acres with that 36. This is a 50 that we just lit right here. Me and dad just got going. Uh, so we're gonna end up with a, uh, a good burn evening this evening here. I walked this whole road with the uh, blower, blowed it all back. Not sure what he's gonna do. He's gonna get run over. That's what he's gonna do. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Ah, oh, shoot. Hey, that man's got a park on him, man. Come on. No, I don't. <laughs> God. Get out here and get killed by a dead gun ranger. That's dad's tank right there. That six by six. Takes 40 acres to turn that thing around in. That uh, 580 blower is the bomb.com for working a fire. That is so, it's so much better than a flapper or a rake. It's insane, man. What's up, boy? You wanna ride with me? <laughs> He's like, nope. The back of the 36, this is not included with that 36, what I initially started on today. So we're gonna end up burning uh, bad close to 100 acres this evening and tonight. That looks good right there too. This guy, this guy hot right here. So you can see that other road over, see it? We got roads everywhere through here. I might consider, y'all let me know down below. I might consider, I talked about doing a, you know, like a charity ride or something like that on the rent, on the side-by-sides, four-wheelers and stuff. Man, y'all let me know if y'all want to do something like that, maybe in May of this year. Uh, we may do it. We may get it together because we got enough property and trails over here and we can ride for four or five hours. Easy. I'm thinking out loud what I could do is, is, uh, you wanted to come in like on a Friday night uh, I could have everybody at my place on a Friday night we just have a uh, I have a bonfire or something you know we just hang out shoot the breeze uh, you want some cold beverages bring them stuff like that just hang out you know and then uh, Saturday morning we want to meet somewhere for uh, breakfast uh, we could do that and then end up coming over here and just riding for several hours or something or do it where we hung out Saturday night. Either way, if that would be better for people to, to travel, say on a, uh, on, a, on a Saturday morning, of course, if you were gonna travel, you'd have to get up pretty early to come on. I'm just kind of tossing things out, man, thinking out loud a little bit, you know? I had to do that sometimes to uh, get get my brain working. But uh, yeah, we could do that. I think it'd be fun. Like I said, we've got enough. Look at that line of fire over there. That is cool. We got enough property and trails. We could ride. We could ride probably half a day or so. I imagine. You know, it'd be better for people to hang out on a on a uh, Saturday night. We could do it. We could hang out on that Saturday night. Everybody get cleaned up, whatever. Hang out. I don't know. We'll just see and get some ideas of going. All right, I just checked it the last time on this road. Make sure everything looking good. So we've got this whole 50 on fire now, all the way around it. It'll burn all night tonight.
think me and dad are gonna go set one more place and let it burn through the night too. Good fire, very nice. Drip torch. So we're going to take the drone up. This is after Dad and I have gotten everything uh, lit. And this is just before dark while the this back 50 acres is burning. You can see the road there. Got a lot of interesting comments in the very first uh, drone, or not the drone video, but the burn video that I did. Um... <clears throat> You have to work with the wind and the conditions need to be right and you can you can burn like this right here and it's a very important part of being a conservationist to do this kind of stuff and here in the southeast you see a lot of burning like this right here and what it does is it burns all the fuel off the ground. Uh, if you ever notice, you hardly ever hear of a fire in the southeast that burns more than 100 acres or anything like that. And the reason being is, is because it's managed. There's roads everywhere. We log. And to log, you got to put roads in. And roads are natural fire, fire breaks. Uh, you can see this is that lake over there. To the left, that's Lake Lowndes, Lake Lowndes State Park. I'm actually burning this right against the uh, state park. And uh, I had called them and notified them of what I was going to do, which they burn over there on their side every few years. And they've actually let the fire get out on us twice and burn across us twice. Uh, we didn't, nothing got out of control here. Everything burned like it was supposed to. I had a plan and the way that the wind was doing you have to work again like i said earlier you have to work however the wind is doing it and if you do it right and you burn your buffer strips out you're good to go i'm completely over the lake lounge property right here now you can see the line the veins of fire as they're creeping down there's a creek down there in between these two lines of fire and they're going to burn to the creek on both sides right there. You can see the, the smoke plume that's coming up. When it was out of the southeast uh, at about, when I started, it was blowing about seven miles an hour, which that's borderline almost too much. Uh, you can get away with eight. You don't want to get over 10 miles an hour um, it, it's not good you start getting over that like that you need to reconsider doing it a uh, another day because if the humidity would the humidity was at 24 percent, i believe when i started this and then when i stopped it, when i brought the drone in i checked it again it was at 38 percent. you take the wind and real low humidity it will push that fire faster, way faster than what you can possibly move on foot and sometimes even on a, a ranger or a four-wheeler. I have been a part of quite a few burns over the years. I have been a part of fighting some fires like this over the years. Um, not that I said, that other people said. All right, so this right here that I'm flying over now, this is the 40 or the 36 that I burnt earlier in the same day. If you notice, you see one fire still going right there. This is something going completely burnt. 
and got done. I mean, it just, it burnt, it literally burnt that 36 acres in about 45 minutes. That's about how fast it, it burnt that 36 acres. You can see some more brush piles down there burning. Uh, that's mine and dad's truck sitting in that green field. Roads and green fields are your friends for uh, fire breaks. And then you can take a blower like I did and, and walk down and catch it. Now, this that I'm directly at right now is what I burnt Monday night, this whole center section right here. And then you can see what's coming back up on the uh, on the 50 acres right there. But the drone footage is pretty cool, uh, very cool. So I think we're done with all the burning that we'll probably do this year. Uh, once you get – you don't want to burn – on up in March, late March or anything. You want to get it late February, early March, get it done and over with because you don't want things to uh, start greening up yet or anything like that. So I'll be back and I'll be showing it as it starts to green up and show some videos of what it'll look like and what the vegetation is going to look like in it.